Hi, I'm Lucy Earl. I currently coach at JTC. I'm a former professional tennis player. I was British number one and I have been coaching for 20 years, working with top juniors and some professional players, including Laura Robson. I also commentate on television and radio. So today we're going to work on some basic doubles tactics that anyone of all standards can look to use. And the first one we're going to look at is interception or what's known as poaching in doubles. So the first progression we're going to do is some reaction drills just to speed up your hand-eye coordination and get you more confident at volleying close to the net. Okay, off you go guys. That's it, nice and sharp. Good reactions. Good Alex. Excellent, well done. So the next progression we're going to do to help your interception skills is with me feeding as the returner and then the volleyer, who's the server's partner, will intercept. I put the targets out because the goal is to actually try and hit the volley in between the two players so it makes it difficult for them to be able to get it back. All right, <laughs> you ready? Good, Millie. Well done, Alex. Here we go. Good reach. Great one, Alex. Nice volley, Millie. Here we go, last few. Well done, through that target, perfect. Well done. Good reach. Here we go, last two. Sorry, Alex. So the final progression before we are able to add the serve and the return is to set up the court. So you've got Millie and Morgan hitting from the back of the court and then Alex is going to see if he can get across and intercept any of the balls that Morgan hits. All right, ready? Great move. See if you can get it through this target, Alex. Great volley. Well up, Millie. Oh, well done. Coming, last one. Great move, Alex. You might have seen some of the pros doing hand signals behind their back. These signals are to help the server know where they should serve and then what their partner is going to do at the net. So let's just talk through them. So the first signal is for the server to know where they're going to serve. So Morgan's going to show you wide would be this signal, body would be this signal and down the T would be this signal. The next sign is where Morgan will move. So if he's going to stay, this would be this signal. If he's going to poach or intercept, it will be this signal. Or if he's going to look for the volley, it will be this signal. So let's see it in action. Thank mm -hmm. you. 